doing a plant haul. I recently posted my house plant tour, which I will link down below if you guys have not seen that. You guys can go ahead and watch that. But these are all plants that I purchased in the past week. Um, my husband and I did some shopping last weekend and I picked up a couple yesterday. So I have eight plants to show you guys. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. The first plant that I picked up, I picked this up during the week. This is a teardrop succulent plant and I stopped by a Lowe's last week and I saw this hanging like in the back behind um, some of the other hanging plants and at first I thought it was a string of pearls but whenever I looked at it and I read the little tag it said that it is called a string of teardrops and I've never heard of this before. Um, it said it is like from the family like from the string of pearls plant. They think it's like some type of variegation or something that happened but I just loved it and it's in this little hanging thing and it's definitely um pretty like leggy on one side so I'm going to do some propagation on this and try to get it fuller but this was marked for ten dollars and um it did have like some dead roots on top and some dead pieces I had to kind of weed through and I don't think it was taken care of very well so I mentioned that to the checkout lady and she gave this to me for five dollars so I'm definitely not complaining and it seems to be doing really well. I've just been hanging it in my house um, near my string of pearls. So yeah, I just, I love this plant and I'm excited to do some propagations and make more. The next plant that I got is this Hetera Helix. I think I'm saying that correctly. Vine. This is typically supposed to be an outdoor plant, I believe, but I'm going to see how well it does inside. I love how it just kind of goes everywhere and I'm trying to think of something fun to do with this and a cool location for my house. Pretty, I love the dark green. I had a lot of lighter plants in my house and I kind of wanted to bring some darker colors in. I got this for two dollars at a local nursery. It was on sale and it just looks really cute in this little pot. Okay, the next plant is this little cactus. We were at Walmart the other day and they had this for a dollar on sale and it's actually doing a lot better than it was um, than it looked whenever we got it. We will be growing this probably in a window with a, some bright light. Okay, I'm gonna keep my favorite plant for last. So I'm just gonna skip that one and we are going to go over here where I got this beautiful pothos yesterday for three, $3.90 I wanna say at Home Depot. It is so big. It was next to all the $3 ones, but it was the size of the ones going for like seven or nine. So. Um, I always kind of weed through and I pick up each little individual little carton and I always get the more mature plant. So for four bucks, this is a really decent sized pothos and I went ahead and repotted it already and I have it um, sitting on my TV stand where it kind of dangles off. Oh, I forgot one plant. Okay, so I actually forgot to count a plant. So I guess I have, I want to say nine altogether. This next one I picked up from a local nursery as well when I got that heterohelix. And this is a Creeping Jenny. And I found this in the outdoor plant section and um, I read that you can grow them inside too. So I'm probably gonna either maybe put this in a hanging basket at some point, but right now it just kind of sits on my little plant shelf and dangles off really nicely. This plant likes to be moist, so I've been missing it and making sure it stays moist. And I just really love the look of it. It's literally crazy, it just hangs off everywhere. And I love it. The next two plants my mom actually gave to me yesterday. She recently got a bunch of golden pothos and she shared two of them with me. And so my husband and I repotted these last night. We had this like old little watering can thing. I do need to repaint it or something, but we went ahead and put one of those in there and then this one and this other little potter. So I'll be having all the pothos around my house and I've already started propagating some of them. So I will just make more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my favorite one, and then my next favorite one is actually outside because I'll tell you guys that in a minute, but let's go ahead and I'll show you my favorite one that I picked up. All right, so this is the Philodendron Brazil. The colors of the leaves are just so pretty, and I just love how it looks hand-painted, and I got this one from Home Depot for $4. It was originally five something, but it did have some leaves that were like tour and had like some cracks in them and everything and so the lady actually gave me 30% off so I got this for about four bucks 
and I've heard that they grow really well. I've been wanting a philodendron for a while, but every time I see them, they're in like the huge hanging baskets, like just like the dark leaf ones, and they're like $20, so I just have not wanted to pay $20 for a plant lately, but getting this one for four bucks, I was definitely excited about, and I will be propagating this soon once it gets kind of adjusted in my house. All right, so I will go ahead and show you guys the other plant that is outside. All right, so this plant is the Maranta. I do have one of the other types of Marantas inside if you have seen my house tour, but this one is this huge hanging basket that my mom actually got for me at Pike, and I was so excited. We got this for $8. It was originally $20, and I was just so excited. But I got home, and I went to repot it, and I saw that it has mealybugs on it. So... I'm keeping this one out here for now. Um, I need to go pick up some rubbing alcohol and maybe some neem oil and do some work on it. I really want to save this plant because it is so pretty and it seems to still be doing pretty well. And I think I can probably even propagate some off of it. But for now, I just kind of have it in isolation and I'll probably run to the store today and get what I need to, um, to fix this little guy. But it's so pretty and I absolutely love these types of plants. Okay, so I forgot about one more plant to show you guys. I guess that makes 10 plants all together, and I guess that makes me probably crazy. So um, this last one is an arrowhead plant, but it's pretty cute, and it is growing a ton of new leaves under here, and seems to be doing pretty well so far. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the new plants that I picked up, and I'll be placing these around my house, and um, I've been making some macrame hangers to hang some of them in, so if you guys would like to see a video on how I do that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. So I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any video requests. I would like to do some propagation videos and um, just some other plant care videos as well. So I'll see you guys in my next one.